Well, it's been two weeks since I set up this aquaponic system. The eel that I got from the bait store uh, is still alive, even though I didn't realize it, but he had a big gash on his throat. Uh, the fish back there are doing very well. And even though I set this all up without waiting a few weeks to go through a night twice cycle. Everything is um, okay. I've been monitoring the water. I've got a lot of aeration going on to speed up the cycling process. And of course, I'm sure the plants are helping. So this is kind of an experiment in seeing how aquaponics will work out without uh, a bell siphon. And so far, it seems to be going well. And here's why. I lift this grow bed out that I made. Uh, by simply lifting it up to facilitate more oxygen to the roots. Put it on the higher hook here. I do this a couple times a day. I'm here anyway a couple times a day, so it's easy enough to do. And everything's doing well. Um, even the citrus tree. This is a lemon tree. This is a lime tree. This uh, lettuce. I cut back all the roots on, and its neti pot is filled with peat and sphagnum, and I'm happy to see, I don't know if you can see that, but the roots are growing right through, despite the fact that I chopped them all off. The fish have now discovered the food I just put in. These are shiners inexpensive cold water fish from the bait store. Same place I got the eel. And uh, they're, they're pretty. They're active and they're tough. And um, the beauty of this whole system is their waste feeds the plants and so far the plants are happy with that. And the plants help clean the water. And the whole relationship provides me with completely uh, healthy food, healthy herbs and lettuce and enjoyment. Got rosemary, basil, these are snap peas. And this lettuce that I've been picking leaves is all folks for two weeks and it's still producing and I've chopped back the roots and the roots are still growing so something's working out well the system is working out well despite the fact that there's no constant siphoning and draining of a grow bed which is traditionally how aquaponics are done so we'll see if this experiment continues to thrive based on the oxygenation in the water for the plant roots from the two pumps I have running and uh, just being lifted and raised a couple times a day out of the water keep the plants from drowning. <laughs>